First, let's understand what is a result set. The SQL statements that read data from a database query and written the data in a result set. So whenever we are executing SQL statement, we get a result as some data from the database table. So that needs to be represented so that Java application can use it. So in java.sql package, we have a result set interface that represents the result of set of database query, whatever is the result of the select query. A result set object maintains a cursor that points to the current row in the result set. The term result set refers to the row and column which contains data in a result set object. The types of result set are type forward only, type scroll insensitive, and type scroll sensitive. In this first type, type forward, the cursor can move only in the forward direction. So you can navigate from first record in the result set to the next and next till the end. This is the default result set which is getting created. The next type is type scroll insensitive. In this type, the cursor can scroll forward and backward and the result set is not sensitive to the changes made by others to the database that occur after the result set was created. In this type of result set, the cursor can scroll in both forward and backward direction, and the result set is not sensitive to changes made by others to the database that occur after the result set was created. What is meaning of it? First of all, scroll specification means in previous type of result set, the cursor can move only in the forward direction. So that means from the first record to the last record. In scroll type of result set, the cursor can move in both forward and backward direction. However, Whenever it is scroll insensitive, that means, say for example, I have executed the query and I have created the result set. Now, after I have created the result set in my application, if other user performs some modification in the database, then those changes are not reflected in my result set. That is type scroll insensitive. The next type is type scroll sensitive. As scroll specifies, we can scroll the cursor in forward and backward direction. However, this type of result set is sensitive to the changes made by others to the database. Those occur after the result set was created. Like in previous example, say for example, I have created the result set and now after the result set is created by me, some other user has made changes in the database table. So those changes will be reflected in the result set which I have created and I will have that updated data available for my application. So these are the types of result set. Another type is concurrency. So con concur read only. So creates read only result set, which is default. And concur updatable, which creates an updatable result set, which can be modified. There is one more concept added in JDK 5, which is row set. Row set is a wrapper of result set and it holds tabular data like result set. However, it is easy and flexible to use. There are certain implementations of row set as JDBC row set, cached 
row set, web row set, join row set, and filtered row set. What are the advantages of row set? Row sets are easy, flexible to use, scrollable, and updatable by default. That means in result set, we will have to specify the scrollability and updatability while creating the result set by specifying the parameters. Row set is by default scrollable and updatable. So I need not to specify any parameter. So they are more flexible. This is the comparison. So result set always maintains connection with the database. A row set can be connected or disconnected from the database. Result set cannot be serialized. That means you cannot persist result set along with its data into the file or over a network. Row set object can be serialized. Result set object cannot be passed over a network. Row set object can be passed over a network. Result set object is not a Java bean object. You can create or get a result set using execute query method. However, row set object is a Java bean object. You can get a row set using row set provider dot new factory dot create JDBC row set method. By default, Result set object is not scrollable or updatable, and row set object is scrollable and updated. So, this is about result set and row set in JDBC. Thank you.